Hey everyone, my name's Andrew with a review on a monitoring service that integrates with AWS called Datadog. This is the first time I'm doing a review, so if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other services you'd like me to review in the comments below. So the first thing I want to talk about with Datadog is the price. So the price is actually very affordable. Uh, this is pretty typical pricing for monitoring services where you pay per host per month. But what I really like for a personal use is their free tier where you can choose up to five hosts because typically most people in their personal use are going to have a couple EC2 servers, maybe an RDS and maybe, you know, a caching server, which is really nice. And the pro version with only $15 per host per month really is not that bad and it's quite affordable. So let's dive into some of these Datadog features. So the first feature I want to show you is their events. Now, as you start adding more and more integrations, you're going to start getting more and more events inside of this page. And what's really nice is I can see a high level of what's happening within Amazon Web Services in this case, and you can see that there are no serious messages, so I can go ahead and move on. So the next thing I wanna jump into is their integrations. Now, I don't have too many AWS integrations installed, but you can see that there are a lot of integrations available not only from uh, AWS, but from all sorts of other third-party services as well. All of these are extremely easy to configure. And what's really, really cool uh, diving into one of these integrations is if you jump over to the metrics tab, before you even start working with these integrations, you can see uh, the different um, data points that they're pulling in, uh, which is really nice and it's handy to have. Datadog also gives you the ability to tap into their API now this is really nice because if you have some custom metrics, say users online, that you want to push from your application and into Datadog and build a graph off of it, you're, you have that ability to do that, which is really cool. They also have what's called a Datadog agent. Now, what's really nice about this agent is that this server does not necessarily have to be within Amazon Web Services or within one of the integrations that you have. You can install this agent on any type of server or instance that you want, and you can pull metrics in from that. So you can see there's a lot of different things here you can use. And they also have embeds. So embeds are embeddable graphs. So these could be from third parties that are going to come in by way of an iframe. And you can put those into your dashboards as well. So learning from experience here, you always want to pay attention to your infrastructure list. So you can see here, I'm well within the free tier. I have five hosts up. But when you're setting up your integration with AWS, they allow you to specify specific tags that you want them to monitor. So in this case, I'm tagging a bunch of instances with the environment of production. So I want Datadog to monitor anything with the environment of production. But if you're not paying attention when you're setting up your integration with AWS and you have hundreds of instances inside of your account, uh, they're going to pull in all of those instances. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to get a pretty decent bill at the end of the month. So I just wish they sort of gave you a warning. Hey, you're about to pull in 200 instances. Are you sure you want to do this sort of thing? Next, I want to show you setting up a monitor. Monitoring is a great feature that they have where you can set up monitoring on different metrics. Uh, you know, in this case, I'm going to show you setting it up on an EC2 server for CPU utilization, but you can uh, alert your team based on different thresholds. Uh, so it's a very nice feature. Um, it's really easy to configure and it's really easy to get those notifications out. And what's great is you can set them to, you know, automatically uh, resolve the event after a, you know, a specific time or keep, you know, reminding people that this is happening. Um, so you can see here, I set the alert threshold to be 5% and the warning threshold to be 3% and you can see that reflect on the graph. Now I wanna show you what a dashboard looks like. So I created a sample dashboard and I'm not pulling in too many uh, services from AWS, but you can see I got EC2, RDS, CloudFront, ELB, things like that. Uh, but the one thing that I love about Datadog is how clean these dashboards look. You can set different color codes based on thresholds. You can drag and make these graphs bigger if you want to. It is a really clean tool and it's really easy to create these dashboards. My only complaint is when you're on a monitor with small real estate, it's not easy to create these graphs and move them uh, you know, horizontally. Uh, you can really only do it vertically. So that's sort of my only complaint on different monitors. It's harder to create these graphs. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a quick sample here. We're gonna create a new screen board. And this is really easy stuff here. So you just drag and drop. So I'm just gonna pull in a text widget. I'm gonna call an example here. I'm gonna pull in a graph. It's very, very simple to get these metrics. So you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab CPU utilization again. I click done, I pull that in there. And I can resize and I can drag this graph around so I get it exactly how I want for my dashboard. And just another example here of color coordinating something. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my CloudFront requests and I, you can set your units and your formatting. In this case, I'm gonna set zero decimals. 
and I'm just going to set a couple different rules here. So we're going to go ahead and say if the value is greater than 10, uh, you know, we want to put a red background on it. You know, if the value is greater than or equal to five and less than four, we're going to turn it green. You know, just as a quick example here, I'm going to go ahead and click done. And you can see that now I have this nice colorful widget here on my dashboard. Jumping back to the dashboard that I created for you, they also have a cool feature called TV mode. So if you're like me and you like to throw cool graphs up on a big television in front of your office, you know, that's something that you can show off and everybody can see. Now they also have the ability to give you a public URL too, which is really nice because if you need to share this with someone who you don't want to add to your team or don't want to add to your Datadog account, etc., you can go ahead and create a public URL for your dashboard that they can go ahead and look at all the information that's out there that you can see that you can edit. I also see it being really popular if you're hosting your client's websites and you want to give them some insight into their infrastructure. So that concludes my walkthrough on Datadog. I think Datadog is a fantastic service and I would definitely recommend it to anyone, especially for the price. You really can't beat it with the amount of features that they have packed into this. The amount of integrations that they have is amazing. It's easy to set them up. The metrics are very simple. It's great to be able to alert your team on things. And you know, the best part of all is their dashboarding feature. You know, their graphs look good. Everything is nice and easy to use. It is very user friendly. I think my only complaints about Datadog would be, you know, you have to make sure you're paying attention to your infrastructure list so you don't get too many hosts in there that you don't want. And then, you know, when you're building your graphs, make sure you're building them on a large enough monitor so you can really use up the entire real estate. Hopefully you'll give Datadog a try and you'll like it as much as I did. And if there are any other services you'd like me to review, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.